Do we have any attendees? Yes. We have four people. Hello, everybody. Um, I hope you all enjoyed VTE Dublin uh, Patient Session 2020. Um, it's been a really interesting uh, massive learning curve for Thrombosis Ireland to go virtual and we miss actually physically seeing everybody, but it has its advantages. We were able to reach far and wide um, throughout Ireland and overseas. We had visitors from the Netherlands and from Canada and America um, and the UK. So it was, you know, it has it, its advantages going um gone remotely. It was a new experience. Um, for all our healthcare professionals, uh, make sure that you join us tomorrow for the VT healthcare professional sessions. Um, and I hope you enjoyed all our sessions. Uh, we had 13 uh, different sessions over the last two days and they will all be available on our website from Monday. Um, but in the meantime, if you want to watch them over the weekend, you can watch them um, uh, through the link, through your booking link, you should be able to click on them and watch your uh, presentations again. So before I go and close uh, VTE Dublin Patient Session 2020, um, I'd like to sincerely thank our board, our backroom team, um, our finance, IT, marketing, governance on our board. They've been working behind the scenes to make Thrombosis Ireland sustainable um, and to help us try and get funding for the future. So we're all working in the background. I'd also particularly like to thank um, Anne uh, O'Sullivan, who's been my right-hand woman for the last few weeks, trying to organize the conference, and uh, Gavant and Brian, who set up the conference and looked after our IT. We couldn't have done it without you. If you get a chance this weekend, have a look at our new look um, website, uh, thrombosis.ie or thrombosisireland.ie, both work. Um, you'll see all our, uh, new patient stories um, and new resources, information leaflets. We particularly have a new uh, exercise after a blood clot leaflet, um, which just is hot off the press from today, um, which is approved by the Irish Physiotherapy Council, um, which is a fantastic affirmation. You know, it's, it's absolutely brilliant um, to get it approved by one of the, the professional bodies. Um, so I suppose before I finish, I, the, the big thing is I need to let everybody know, number one, we are not funded by the government. Number two, if there's any opportunity for you to support us um, by fundraising, please do uh, take part in our events. We have one event now before Christmas and it's our um, 100K in 31 days lockdown channel challenge. So we're just asking you to walk, swim, cycle, um, hop, uh, whatever you want to do, 100k, maybe three, three or four kilometres a day over the month, it'll kill two birds with one stone, raise some funds for Thrombosis Ireland and get your specially commissioned bespoke Thrombosis Ireland 100k challenge medal at the end of it. Um, to register, um, we have a link on our website and you'll see it on Facebook and Twitter over the next day or two. Um, so not only will it raise funds for Thrombosis Ireland, but it'll keep your blood flowing. And if you listen to any of the talks, every single one of them would recommend that you keep your blood flowing, you keep moving, you exercise regularly, and that's what will keep your body, your limbs, your blood flow um, and keep you safe. So thanks a million. I hope you all enjoyed it um, and I'll say good evening.